travel. Guys, guess what? This is our last vlog for Africa. Yeah. <gasps> Africa's finished. We made it through. We kind of cheated with flights in between, but, but we, we'll see. We, we did made it. it. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, just to finish it off, we were on the cruise, and our last day on the cruise, we were at Luxor. Yeah. And we went to the Valley of the Kings. Yes. And we walked through a couple tombs. It was actually really cool to see this paint and how it had survived over the many, many years and how vibrant it was still there. Um, I wish we had a video, but they wouldn't allow us to have video. Yeah, so we only have like a video of like the entrance, but it's just like a whole valley and there's like caves for different kings of different times. And they just put it out there so people wouldn't rob them after they died, but they still did anyways. Um, but it's cool. Yes, like like you said, the color is still good, and like the, the caves are all different from each other, so it was a really cool experience. And then after that, we went to Karnak in Luxor. Yeah. That's like the biggest temple in Egypt, like huge, massive pillars everywhere. And like it was just like really cool to walk through like a pretty well-preserved site, I thought. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we also went to the temple of the woman pharaoh. Oh yeah, uh, Hatshepsut. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so <laughs> she's like, yeah, she was a big deal. And like, it was carved into the mountain. There's three levels. And it was like, the mountain was amazing. Like, it was just, it was really cool. So yeah, Karnak um, had, like, also had these really, like, obelisks. Like, these big spire things everywhere. Like, some were broken, some were um, They had these rims, like, uh, like instead of sphinxes they had rams instead so that was like another different thing about it too and yeah after that we went to Temple of Luxor mm -hmm. and we finished off there and then and that's a great temple and there's like a mosque built into it too and people actively use that as well yeah. and then yeah after that we just took a train back to Cairo and then we just went spent all night in the train and then we got into Cairo the next morning yeah. Alright, and so Cairo, it was amazing to see the contrast from a really busy day to Ramadan where it's just dead. There's all the shops are closed. You walk out in the street, there's literally no one. It's like a ghost town. We're walking. It's it's kind of like, imagine New York, midday, and there's no one out there. Mm -hmm. It's just really weird. <laughs> yeah, and it's just really cool too because like, it's cool to see a whole city unified in, in its faith. Like, er everyone follows the rules of Ramadan, so mm -hmm. it was cool. And then yeah, we went out to get food, it was packed, and then um, we went back, and then we got ready for the next day, and then we got taxi at midnight, and we caught a flight to our next destination outside of Africa. But Africa has been really great, we really loved it, and Egypt was just like a good cherry on top of that whole cake. I thought. Yeah, it definitely. It, it, it kept. Africa started and just kept getting better and better and better. So I think throughout the whole time. Yeah, but we love you, Africa, and thanks for following our journey. <laughs> and we'll we'll keep you up on the next travels. See ya. Bye.